guys, it's Rachel. Hope you're all having a great week and welcome back to the channel. Today we are making these super adorable miniature Starbucks cakes. They're perfect if you love coffee or if you love Starbucks, of course. And they're just like little layers of vanilla cake on the inside with a little bit of buttercream frosting as well. Super simple to make and I'll show you guys how it's done in just a little bit. But before we get started though, make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any future videos. I've also got a really big announcement coming up next week. I think I'm going to launch the project this weekend actually, so if you keep an eye out on social media then you might get a sneak peek at it. But regardless, make sure that you are subscribed so you can see the big announcement video. And without further ado, let's get started. First off, in a large bowl, add in one and a half cups of flour, then toss in one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then just grab yourself a whisk and mix that all through. Set that aside and then over in a separate bowl, throw on one stick of softened butter along with one cup of sugar. And then you can probably guess what's coming next. We're just gonna cream this until it gets nice and light and fluffy. Once it looks something like this, we're just going to crack in two eggs, but we're gonna do this one at a time. So I've just mixed in the first egg and then we're gonna go in with the second one just to make sure it gets well incorporated. Then I'm gonna add in one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract and mix it all through. Then we're gonna to toss in half of the dry ingredients and mix. And then go in with a half cup of room temperature milk. I like to microwave the milk for about 30 seconds or so just to bring it up to room temp so it combines evenly. At this point, pour in the rest of the dry ingredients and mix that all through. I do like to finish off the batter by hand just to make sure I don't over mix. And now we're just going to scoop this into our cake tin. I got this really awesome cake tin from Michael's. I believe it's a Wilton mini cakes tin and I'll leave a link to it down below, but it's really great because it's kind of like the size of a cupcake tin, except it's got straight sides, which are perfect for our Starbucks cakes. So I'm just gonna evenly divide the batter between the wells. Then we'll tap it down and bake it off at 350 for about 25 minutes. Once the cakes come out of the oven, they should look something like this. They are gonna look kind of like little muffins. I do really love this cake tin though because it is super nonstick. Promise I'm not being paid to say that, but it does work out really well. Oh, and here you can see I did have a couple stragglers, but they fell out really easily. Now we're just going to level off our cakes. I'm just grabbing a serrated knife to do this. You're gonna see here that I'm not the best at leveling off cakes. They're always a little bit crooked, but keep in mind that you can always use frosting to fill in any gaps or touch up any irregularities. And now moving over to a cake turntable, I'm just gonna grab some pink buttercream frosting and lay down a little dollop. Then I'll press my cake on top and then add on some filling. And by the way, you can find the recipe for this buttercream frosting over on my website. So now I'll lay over my second cake, pipe on some more frosting, and spread it out. And then I popped on just a half layer, really depends on how high your cakes are. Then once I've got that all good to go, I'm just going to add on a crumb coat, which is just a nice thin layer of frosting to lock in any crumbs. So I added on like way too much frosting here that is necessary for a crumb coat, but it's all good. I just went ahead and scraped off the excess. It can be a little bit tricky to frost miniature cakes like this just because they're not that heavy so you can't press against them too hard, but it's definitely doable. At this point, just pop it in the fridge for about 10 minutes just so it can firm up. Then we're gonna go in for our final layer of frosting. To compensate for how small the cakes are and how it can be a little bit tricky to frost, my advice for you is to lay on a ton of buttercream at first and then just scrape off the excess. This way you can get a nice smooth finish without having to mess with the cakes too much. Once you've got that good to go, we're just gonna add on our faux whipped cream on top and then ring around the outside using a flat piping tip. And then I'm just going to very carefully transfer this to my plate. And then we'll repeat for a chocolate one as well. Or it could be like a coffee flavored one, I guess. Feel free to make whatever drink you like to get at Starbucks. Honestly, a lot of the time I just get a tall coffee, but that would be a pretty boring cake. For a couple final details, we're just gonna make some fondant decorations now. I'm just grabbing this dark green fondant and rolling it out onto some powdered sugar. Then I'll grab some circle cookie cutters and just cut out the green parts, along with some black circles for the center. 
You'll also want to cut out some white fondant hearts to pop right on top. You could make a mermaid if you're feeling like really ambitious, but I just went for the white hearts. And I'm just kind of gluing them together with some water. Once your faux Starbucks logos are ready to go, you just have to make the faces. These are really simple. I'm just using some black and white fondant along with a little bit of pink for the cheeks. Pretty self-explanatory. And for a final touch, I'm just going to drizzle over some caramel syrup. And by the way, for that top whipped cream, you can totally use real whipped cream if you want to keep it a little bit lighter. Now we're just going to pop in our green straws that I definitely didn't take from Starbucks. And finally, we're just going to dust over a little cinnamon. And now your adorable little mini Starbucks cakes are finished. I think that these look so adorable and they're perfect for the coffee lover in your life, even if that's just you. All right guys, our mini Starbucks cakes are finished now and these are looking super adorable. This one though, you can't see it from this angle right now, but I actually <laughs> dropped it when I was trying to transfer it to the plate. So the back of it is a little bit less cute than the front, but we're gonna pretend only the front part exists. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for lots more recipes like this one. And for that exciting announcement in the future, make sure you stay tuned. You can also follow me on social media at Kawaii Sweet Eats and then check out my website over at kawaiisweetworld.com for the full recipe and I'll see you all back here very soon. Bye guys!